Hi, my name is Patricia Espinosa. And I'm Gina Carvalho. And we're authors of Chapter 10 on care labor and temporal vulnerability in woman-child relations. In this chapter, we look at care labor, in particular on unpaid care work, as a lens to theorize relations between women and children and the relationship between feminism and the politics of childhood, both the tensions and potential synergies between them. So care and vulnerability are both widely recognized as universal features of human experience, yet care remains highly politicized, feminized, and adultized. And care frameworks tend to position children as dependents on adults, and their roles as caregivers are often overlooked. So in this chapter, we hope that we challenge rather than reinforce some of the dichotomous way of thinking about care and some of the distinctions that dominate, such as distinctions between care and work, caregivers and care receivers, between dependence and independence, vulnerability and agency, and childhood and adulthood. Uh, we explore these issues using data from Young Lives, where Jean and I are both researchers. Young Lives is a longitudinal study of childhood poverty in four low- and middle-income countries in Ethiopia, India, Peru, and Vietnam. Uh, we take advantage of Young Lives' rich time-use data collected for both caregivers and children over 10 years. Our analysis looks at three different temporal dimensions of vulnerability of woman-child relations. First, we look at childhood as a sociobiological phase in the life course. Second, we look at biographical change and children's um, care trajectories. And third, we focus on generational relations and how care and vulnerability are shared and managed between generations. We hope you enjoy the chapter.